The more expensive something is, that is a signal to the marketplace and to market actors that it is scarce. So inflation, and by inflation, I specifically mean arbitrary fiat currency supply inflation by a legal monopoly. That is amplifying the perception of scarcity among market actors in the world. And I would argue that it actually amplifies divisiveness. I think this is the key maybe to looking at the connection between the monopolization of money and things like cancel culture. It's increasing our natural predilection to be combative with one another because we think there's more scarcity in the world than there actually is. Versus in a world where you're not increasing the money supply, prices are declining every year. As prices decline, this is a signal to market actors in the market that scarcity is declining. There's less need to fight over things. And all of this ties back into the old basket saying that if goods don't cross borders, soldiers will. So if we're not trading with one another, if we're not acting interdependently, and we're not becoming more intelligent as a market, and that increased intelligence or increased knowledge is reflected in decreased prices, because prices are just the exchange ratios of things. So the smarter we can solve problems, the better we can solve problems, the less prices would be. So it induces more cooperation.